Rip City. It's the Herb Thrasher Flower Hour, featuring music, videos, and backstage interviews with the masters of metal, the monsters of rock, and the hellbellies of alt country. Now, throw your horns up and crank it to 11 with your host, Herb Thrasher. Yeah, what's up everyone? What's going on out there in your world? Herb Thrasher here with Radical Russ. Hello everyone. That's right here. Roller J Studios in Portland, Oregon. Hope you guys are having a great night. We are too. Very excited. Have another great show tonight. Man, it's been a big week here. On Tuesday night, me and Ico went down to see Jake Orvis and the Broken Band. Man, what these guys are so amazing. I play them to you all the time. And you guys know I talk about all these different kinds of music for us. You know we play death metal and we play thrash and we play rock. But we also love to play outlaw country music and just regular rock. And these guys kind of mountain grass and... I, I like to call it thrash grass or shred grass, and they just they just shredders all around. Great guys. Ended up having an interview with Jake Orvis, the lead man, lead singer, and instigator of it all. And then also we had an interview after that with Jared and Liz. And then after that we had another interview with James Honeycutt. And so uh, we're going to air just the Jake Orvis interview tonight. And then we'll uh, add those other two on down the line. Uh, the James Honeycutt interview was great, man. He ended up helping me kind of bridge metal and bluegrass together. Rush, you know I talk about it all the time. He he's been he's from uh, Washington up here, so he says all this you know alternative, you know, growing up with all them bands, Soundgarden and sure. all them bands. So he had this whole influence, but he's also on his own doing this acoustic thing. Sat down with him, he was able to really bridge it together and really put it into. In musical terms that I that I have a hard time with sometimes, as uh, I'm an air guitarist extraordinaire, <laughs> and he's uh, just a freaking guitarist extraordinaire. So, gonna be excited to bring Jake Orvis to you tonight. Got some also some bootleg live video that Iko and I shot. Iko does such a great job recording these bands, and so we're definitely uh, gonna play some of that. And it's good quality, man. You know, there's no distortion in these guys. These guys are all strings, so we've got it for sure. Also, uh, at some point during the hour, we're going to give away this CD right here. That's right. Bless This Mess from Jake Orvis. Uh, he was kind enough to hook us up and give us a CD. So we're going to give that away, and I'm uh, just going to get the first caller. And so uh, you guys be ready. You're going to have to be uh, listening on and uh, just call right up when uh, Russ gives the number at some point during the first hour. All right, and then also got some brand new tunes, man. Real excited to bring you maybe something from Black Label Society. We got something from the Vintage Caravan that I am just real excited to bring you. These guys are from Iceland. 18-year-old kids, man. Wow. And this video is going to blow your mind. Also got some Mutoid Man and some Monty Pittman and some SAG. And so you guys definitely... Hang tough. You know, at 9, we like to bring you some news. Russ has some stories. Uh, might update you on Alabama and Georgia. They're doing great stuff down there in the south. Actually, the south, you guys are kicking ass, man. And yeah. you guys need to keep going. Keep doing what you're doing right now because you guys are making waves. And then uh, we'll let you know who won our Who Does Governor Christie Sing For contest that we do every Friday. I love Lori, what's up out there in my Massachusetts, man? Congratulations to you, girl. Hope you're listening. Congrats. We'll talk about that in hour two and show you the picture. And then, Russ, we're going to bring back a little funk, too, man. Uh-oh. So, uh, old school funk. So, you guys kick back. We're going to be all over the spectrum tonight. This is going to be a long little segment right here. But it's freaking well worth it as we have Jake Orvis. It's going to be a couple of bootleg tunes and interview. You guys load those bowls, kick back. We'll come back on the other side and regroup. Turn it up, folks. Herb Thrasher, 420 Radio.
This guy right here is definitely made of metal, but he's also got some freaking strings going on. Jake Orvis in the Broken Band. Welcome to Portland, dude. Good to be here. Right on, man. Well, dude, we appreciate everything you're doing. We know that uh, we feel like you're kind of in the forefront right now of a certain kind of style of music. Definitely been around, definitely the roots. Kind of, you know, help us out. Help us understand where this music's coming from and how it's kind of enabled you to get this far. Well, I think it's really relative to a lot of people who uh, grew up listening to metal or punk rock or, or anything like that because, uh, especially with, like, punk rock, I feel like that's been almost a, a newer form of folk music in the sense that it's the people's music, it's real issues, it's, a, it's real emotion, it's raw, it's, it's energetic, to say the least, and uh, I've always felt that old mountain music, old timey music, old bluegrass has a lot of those same elements. Uh, and has for years, um, but instead of wearing a leather jacket and studs, you know, they might wear a cowboy hat or some bibs, you know what I mean? Um, but honestly, I, I mean, it all, it, it's all spoken to me uh, very personally, uh, all these forms of music. Um, so when I started listening to that type of music more and more, I realized that I wanted to lean more toward that, and it was something that was, uh, it wasn't being done yet, um, and very often at all, and when it was being done, it was a lot more happy, uh, a lot more fun, uh, dancey kind of stuff, and I, you know, I, I don't write like that, but I use this type of instrumentation in my music, and, uh, I can try to keep it as real to who I am as possible, but instead I, I traded in my, I traded in my six string for an eight string mandolin, you know, and got rid of the amps and the uh, cabs and all that stuff and packed a lot lighter now. Well, I really feel like this music's definitely growing. I can see, you know, I've been following it for so many years. I feel like anyways with maybe Hank 3 starting it up, you know, there's this, there's this hellbilly vibe that used to be. I feel like we're kind of getting out of this hellbilly thing and more understanding about the music now more than the attitude. So I think that's a good thing. But you yourself, you've, you've been in many bands, uh, 357, you know, and you've been in the goddamn gallows here recently. And now let's get into some Jake Orvis and the Broken Band. What's going on with Jake? Is this the lineup that we have going now, four of you, and how are we proceeding forward? Yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. I mean, this whole thing started as a side project, really, uh, that I was doing between gallows tours. And originally it was uh, Fish Guts and Joe Perez, both from the goddamn gallows, uh, and James Honeycutt and myself. And we didn't have anything going on, so we decided to, you know, take it on the road. And uh, I don't think any of us really planned on it being more than a side project, but it took on a life of its own. And uh, eventually uh, we did a tour, uh, or I had a tour booked with uh, Wayne Hancock. And the Gallows uh, originally weren't going to do a tour, but then last minute they had to take a, a tour opportunity. So uh, Fish Guts and Perez... You know, that pretty much means that they were out. Um, and Jared and Liz, who were playing with a band called Bob Way and the Outlaw Carnies, had a month off, you know. And Jared hit me up, and he was like, hey, man, if you need a bass player and a fiddle player, you know, we'd be happy to go out on tour with you. And then Joe Perez ended up uh, doing it with us. And um, that was when we first all started playing together, and it just clicked. And it made me realize that this could be a, a real band, a real full-time band, you know, with a steady lineup. So, as that happened, and just the monster got bigger and fed itself, to say, um, I realized that this was something worth pursuing full-time. Uh, and everybody in the goddamn gallows was incredibly supportive uh, the entire time. So, when it came down to it, it's like, you know, i got to make a choice between one or the other at this point, because now I'm in two full-time touring bands. And either one is going to suffer if I don't, you know, cease to play in one of them. And, and so I got together with the Gallows, and we all talked about it. We all hugged it out. And they wished me the best. I wished them the best. And they're still my dearest friends, you know. And so we took this full time. And now what you see is the, that's the band. That's great. Earth Thrasher here with Jake from Jake Orvis and the Broken Band. They're playing here tonight in Portland. So excited to see these guys. They're on the road right now. All over, you guys can check them out. This guy is always on the road. Even when the van breaks down, these dudes are on the freaking road. All right, Jake, so back in 2013, you put out this killer album, Bless This Mess. 
Talk about that album. Hate to kind of go back, but the album is worth a mention. Talk about that album for a minute and tell us kind of where we are today with that album and where we're moving forward. Uh, that, well, my first album was uh, probably a lot more dark and uh, depressing, you know, because it was all based on the stuff that I was going through at the time. Uh, the new album has everybody that I'm playing with on the album. Uh, we, we did a lot of stuff together, um, putting songs together as a group versus just me having songs and telling people to throw their part in there. And this one's, uh, I, f- I feel like it's a lot, a lot meaner. Uh, it's got it's got real fast stuff. It's got some honky tonk stuff, uh, and it's got some really cool like swingy gypsy jazz kind of stuff. And it's all kind of taken from the elements that we all have playing with each other, you know. Because I think the musicianship here is so strong that we we're able to feed off each other a lot more. So when it comes to the writing process, that you really have a lot more room to bounce ideas around, come up with really wild stuff, you know. And that's you know that's what we're trying to do. You know what I mean? We're trying to not sound like everybody else. But then again, we're not even really trying that hard. It's just it's what comes out, you know. None of it's fabricated. It's just it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. No, it's strings. It's it's a lot of heart. You got so much soul, and you know, like you were talking about the just the mountain sound of just blending it all together, and you guys just have come up with this great sound that I I really think is kind of heading in a new direction for the music right now. And I, and I don't want to sound like that bluegrass has has not been around because it has, but there's this new form that's been ready to explode here in the, in the last five years, and I feel like these guys and a few other bands right now are kind of on that forefront right now and moving us forward, and speaking of moving us forward, you guys are in, you know, on tour right now, you busted van, you get another van, you guys are moving, you guys are played Farmageddon before, what's up for the summer, festivals, where can people kind of plan to find you, and I'm sure you're going to be touring all year. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's, yeah, you can find us anywhere. Pretty much. Uh, the summertime, yeah, we got a couple of festivals that we're going to be doing. Uh, a couple of the main ones that we're going to be doing, well, starting with the Spring Weekender, that's the Muddy Roots Spring Weekender. That's going to be in Nashville, ten, uh, Nashville, Indiana in May. And then from there, we head out to Europe and do the Muddy Roots European oh, Festival. Very cool. And then we get back in time to do the Heavy Rebel Festival, 4th of July weekend. Uh, and then, then we're doing the Farmageddon Records Festival. Uh, we're also doing the Jack Pine Jamboree in northern Wisconsin, Labor Day weekend. That festival is the festival that, uh, when I was with 357 String Band, that festival was basically like our stomping ground, like where we got our start, where we cut our teeth. We got to know a lot of people. We got to meet a lot of musicians who taught us how to play our instruments, you know. Uh, and we, had, when I was with them, we played it every year for think five or six years um, and in the last few years I was with the Gallows and I was with this band and we were doing the Muddy Roots Festival that's the same weekend uh, and Jack Pine Jamboree has been trying to get me to come back for years now and finally I was like yeah I'm ready to come back we've done a bunch of the Muddy Roots stuff so now we're going back to do that again this year uh, we did it last year and then the year after that we're probably going to do the Muddy Roots again so very cool, very cool. So are you guys still on Farmageddon Records? We are, yeah. And that's the plan to keep moving forward? Yeah, yeah. For now, I mean, yeah, you know. All right, well, we're definitely looking forward to brand new music and definitely looking forward to all these shows. You guys, get out there and see these guys. They have a Facebook page, Jake Orvis and the Broken Band, and Jake Orvis also has his own Facebook page, and he's chatting away, putting away pictures. They have a website. You can go there and check out tunes, so many tunes on YouTube. And as you mentioned, you know, they go far back, so there's many tunes. Jake, dude, I definitely appreciate everything you guys are doing, man. Yeah, man. Us here at 420 Radio are definitely going to be supporting you guys. I can't wait to see the show tonight. And uh, just look forward to the future with uh, Jake Orvis and the Broken Band. Very cool, man. That really means a lot. I mean, like, we count on support from people. I mean, this is a very grassroots type of scene. It's all word of mouth. So just you guys doing this, I can't explain how much we appreciate it, man. So... Thanks, yeah, man. You guys are going to be playing Friday night with the Pine Box Boys there in San Francisco. That's going to be a kick-ass show. I'm looking forward to that. I know you are, dude. All right, man. This is Jake Orris, man. I'm Herb Thrasher, Herb Thrasher Flower Hour on 420 Radio. You guys take care, man. Cheers.
Covered from Chattanooga. Guys, Herb Thrasher here with Radical Russ. Hello, everyone. Here in Rip City, Portland, Oregon, here in Roller J Studios. And that right there was Jake Orvis and the Broken Band. And Russ. Yes, sir. What a great interview, man. That dude right there kicks so much ass, it's hard to even put it into words. I know. And I uh, love uh, getting into the, uh, the evolution of the music and the genre away from just the antics of the Hellbillies into the actual you know country themes of it i think you did a great job pointing that out right on man thank you so much and that is what we're trying to do man i'm i'm interested in this music man i want to learn of you know where is it coming from because it's so different for me and it's so uh i relate to it so much and so i'm just you know some, and somewhat it's, it's hard to understand why do i relate to it so much when i'm such a freaking metallic beast <laughs> and so it just uh having a great time with it you know and i i feel it man and it's nothing i can do i, I love that stuff just as much as i freaking love slur and so <laughs> having a good time you guys definitely go out and check them out man i promise you from the first song on you guys will be jamming and dancing and having a great time and that was jake orvis and the broken band they're in san francisco tonight got a show with the pine box boys and you guys know we love those guys too and then they're on the road down in california on the way over into the Midwest, and then as you heard him right there on his way. So there you go. You guys check it out. Enjoyed that. Uh, didn't really talk about weed too much. I had my own reasons why I didn't talk about weed with Jake. Uh, maybe one day we'll talk about it or something. I just didn't. But uh, when the next interview with Jared and Liz, Jared is the bass player, Liz is the violin, Jared freaking cuts loose. And see, that's one thing is you just you got to know who you're interviewing, folks. And I do study, and I do know who I'm interviewing. And so I know when to do things. And Jared is the dude who we talked about weed with, and uh, he talked about his bass and all that stuff. And then we also talked with Honeycut too. So we'll be telling you about those, airing you those real soon. And uh, you guys keep uh, right here on 420radio.org for all that latest news. All right, man, let's get to some freaking rock and roll, dude. There is so much new music out. I, it's like, you know, everyone, sometimes a lot of these bands wait till after the new year so they can get all fired up. You got Nam going on this weekend, and so all these bands are releasing albums. And on Nuclear Blast Records, there's these kids out of Iceland, and they're called the Vintage Caravan. And wow, dude, wait till you guys see this video. First of all, the, the video is just amazingly trippy by itself without even the music. But then when you add the music and the, the rock and roll, I mean, they, they actually have a, a kind of a a different old school rock and roll sound with the freshness to them and so you guys get ready load those bowls turn it fucking up because it's always better louder that's how we do here at 420 radio turn it up folks the vintage caravan
when you have like a collaboration of musicians, you know, they're friends and it makes sense and you put it together and they, ha they have the same element and they know what they're doing and it freaking just makes sense and the song fucking rocks. And that right there is Mutoid Man and that's off the album Helium Head and really uh, it's two friends and you guys might have heard of their previous bands. Well, they're still in the same bands. This is like a little side project of them having fun. But uh, Steven Brodsky of Cave In and Ben Kohler of Converge. And I know both of those bands, both of the bands, very heavy. A little bit of definitely on the aggressive side. And you can hear the aggressiveness in that right there. And love the drumming too, man. My goodness, that dude, I don't think he stopped for us. No, he's he was, taking off. He was just... <laughs> so that right there was Mutoid Man. You guys check him out. Released in November on the 29th. And that is Magic Bullet Records. So you guys definitely, man, love those guys. And before that, Russ, come on. <laughs> How about that video? The Vintage Caravan. I mean, musically, very interesting. Video, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Long Loved song. A uh, couple of 18-year-old boys, dude, and they're just freaking rocking. That is their second album. Uh, first, first album was self-titled, and uh, their brand-new album just released this week on Tuesday. So definitely check out the Vintage Caravan, and that right there was Off Voyage is the title of the album. And big time stuff, man. They're from Iceland, and I can't even go in places, dude. They're just going places. I can just hear it in this band, and they're on Nuclear Blast Records, and shout out to uh, them for uh, branching out because Nuclear Blast, you know, kind of extreme, have a lot of extreme heavy, heavy bands on that label, and they're obviously branching out. They know a good band when they see it. And so, uh, put them up. So, all right, Herb Thrasher here with Radical Russ coming at you from the Rip City here in Roller J Studios, Portland, Oregon. And we're just fucking rocking, man. We're just smoking weed, having a great time coming up on hour two, 15 minutes away. Got some news for you, a couple of stories going on in the cannabis world. And we'll keep you updated on what's going on. I'm not sure what Russ has in store for you, but I'm sure it's going to be informative. Now, all right, on to some more rock. And man, Metal Blade Records, these guys are on fire right now. And Russ, I don't know if you know it, but this Monty Pittman right here who we're about to play, this guy taught Madonna how to play Pantera. Because this guy was Madonna's guitarist for about 15, 20 years. Really? All those years. This guy right here, Monty Pittman extraordinary big time guitar player and now he's signed to metal blade records and this song is freaking amazing the whole album is awesome it just released on the 21st of january and it is the power of three turn it up folks 420 radio
Between my teeth, man, I can't lie. See, I get high like seven days a week. In a world so cold, sometimes it's my only relief. If I could, I'd hang it on my front door like it was a Christmas wreath. Come on, come on. Can I get a little sweet leaf right between my teeth? Man, I can't lie. See, I get high like seven days a week. In a world so cold, sometimes it's my only relief. If I could, I'd hang it on my front door like it was a Christmas wreath. Let's go. I'd like to buy the world. The token, teach the world to smoke it perfect I think there'll be a whole lot less people die Until you cry and die supply in the brain Maybe it's only through bloodshot eyes That the wise can finally see Sweet leaf just helps me to breathe Maybe that's just me So can I kick a little sweet leaf right between my teeth Man, I can't lie, see I get high like seven days a week In a world so cold Sometimes it's my only relief If I could, I'd hang it to my front door Like it was a Christmas tree One more time can I kick a little sweet leaf just to puff up my cheeks? I like to smoke until I choke and lose the power to speak. Maybe sometimes I'm lazy and my memory's weak. But I still do know that my boot the capital of Mozambique. go right there a little big time stuff spread that weed love those guys man Sweet i don't know leaf yeah i don't know much about them man i really don't the bastard sons uh but fam shout out to you bro he sent that one to me this week and i was like hell yes man we got to get that one on the show so big time stuff man i hope you guys like a little sweet leaf around here because i know i do and then before that, man, how did you guys like SAG? Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, or SAG. Sog, you know, they're, they're, SAG. Yeah, they're Norwegian. Oh. And so, uh, you know, I don't know. It could be that, but it's on Metal Blade Records, Indie Records. Release. It releases the 18th of February, so it hadn't even released yet. And uh, I don't know, man. Big time stuff. The, the front man here says, uh, there's no denying our influences. Our biggest heroes are the bands that defined heavy music, Sabbath and Zeppelin. So they they, have, they had, definitely had a Zeppelin-esque riff kind of thing. Yeah, going. they did. They did. And then they have a little, uh, you know, that kind of modern sound, a little bit of Mastodon, Opeth. Uh, yeah. But one thing interesting about that is uh, it's set in, inspired by imagery from Stanley Kubrick's, Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. You yeah. guys remember that movie? Uh -huh. Yeah. So uh, definitely a lot sorry, of stuff Dave. going on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's I right. Can't do that. That's right. So a lot of good stuff going on with them. You guys definitely go check them out. That album is called Delusions of Grandeur. And then before that, Russ, what do you think of Monty Pittman, I dude? love that. The, oh, from the opening of the uh, Hammer Riffs all yeah. the way through, all three of those cats, great players, sounded great. Well, here's basically what happened real quick. Uh, how much time do I have? Ten seconds. Uh, none. So <laughs> hour two, dude, you guys come back. We'll talk about Monty Pittman. We got news and we got weed. Turn it up, folks. Rip City. It's the Herb Thrasher Flower Hour, featuring music, videos, and backstage interviews with the masters of metal, the monsters of rock, and the hellbellies of alt country. Now, throw your horns up and crank it to 11 with your host, Herb Thrasher. Yeah, get those horns up, everyone, or dots.